Where have I been? So, there's been a few people requesting to talk about some things in the past. Hopefully I can speak over the noise. I'm trying to pick new locations that look a little different from my old videos. I'm going to talk a little quick about each one of these subjects because I don't have much time and I don't want to bore everybody. First thing I'm going to talk about is the wind tunnel. Back in November I went to the wind tunnel and I'll give a little description of uh, how that went. Um, it was just an idea actually that I had for since I got hurt. I never really had a doubt that I could fly. It was just a matter of when would I do it and what was the best opportunity. So I planned the trip a long time ago in my head, but it was actually about three months before I went that I, um, that I booked the time. And about two weeks before, a friend of mine, Joao from Brazil, asked me if I would mind if it was recorded. So I said, you know, that's fine. I didn't mind. I really didn't know what it was about, but it was all good as long as it would help them. So it worked out great because not only did my friend Juliana, uh, who you saw in the video, she flew from Brazil to be with me. Also, Joao was there too, and many of my other friends. So what I got to do was uh, see a lot of great people. And as you can see in the video, there were so many people that I didn't expect to see. It was really amazing. And to answer um, the question about what did it, how was the tunnel for me, it was a great experience. Um, it was just like I thought it would be, pretty much in my head. And uh, the only difference was I didn't expect to see so many people. And that was the bonus. I got to be with a lot of friends. And it wasn't in my wheelchair. It was in a space that was the same as everybody else. It was very special. So, I guess uh, I'll stop there since the noisy machine's coming by. And the next subject will be what I did for the months following the wind tunnel. I actually got to spend a lot of time with my Hungarian friends, Peter, Yvette, and Peter. And uh, they're all from Hungary. And uh, first, Peter and Yvette came back to my home, and they spent a few weeks there. A lot more than I ever got to spend with them. It was a really great time. And as you can see from the videos, we did a lot of cruising, skateboarding, riding. We did a lot of fun stuff. And not shortly after, Peter G came down. And uh, man, we got to have some really good times there too. Me, Peter G, and Peter Matos, Yvette, we got to laugh a lot and have some really awesome times. So for me, that was really special. I guess that will uh, move us ahead a few months because, at least two months, because they were here for a while. And uh, that brings up my next subject, which is Peter G. Man, I had some great times with Peter G this year. It was really amazing. But unfortunately, Peter left us on the 25th of March. It wasn't easy for me. It was the only, the only person that passed that was close to me that I actually cried. It was a lot to learn about myself that day and the following days. Two days later was my birthday, March 27th. I really didn't feel much like celebrating, so I didn't really. Although I have some video of it with my nurse and my old nurse, it wasn't that great of a day for me. But it passed. And then there was a new day, which was food. Over the last few months, actually starting when I went to the tunnel, I started to have a, a lot of big changes in the way I ate. One being, most of all, not eating meat. Sorry, so when you know, the volume works. I had a really bad image of chicken that day, actually, eating at a Chinese food restaurant. And from there on, I just had a really hard time eating meat. It's been a while now since I have, and I don't eat any animals anymore. I eat only fruits and vegetables and some dairy products which I choose specifically by quality. 
So that's something I owe a lot to Peter and Peter and Yvette, my Hungarian friends, because they really opened my mind to trying new fruits and vegetables, which has been amazing. I really love it. That's all I'm going to talk about food. Uh, it's been a great experience. Which brings me to the last topic. Brazil. I bring up Brazil because it's some place I've always wished to go since I was little. I've always had this idea that I would be there someday. The rainforest. So, I've never really done anything to work towards that goal. But about four months ago, I really started thinking about it more seriously. And I've actually made some preparations towards getting there, which is kind of exciting. So, and it was also one of the things uh, that Peter kind of pushed me to do. He reinforced my ideas, which was really nice. He was the only person that did actually. So over the last few months, that's where I've been, what I've done, and where I'm hoping to go to towards the future. There's been some ups and downs, of course. There always is. There's been some really high ups and really low downs, actually. How I get through them, I don't know. But life lets me breathe each day, which is the first step. I try to appreciate it all, and I appreciate all of you for watching and for listening and for hopefully doing something to better your life because of what you hear and see. So thank you everyone, and uh, that's where I've been. Keep watching and subscribe.